yeah, I just wanted to let you know, Connor's going to the heiress tour, probably. Oh, this lighting's a bit fun. <laughs> Today is the, it's the 23rd, my camera wants to focus. It's the 23rd of January. So if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I have been desperately trying to get tickets to the Eras tour. I'm sorry if this lighting is super distracting. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should turn it off. You will know that I have been trying desperately to get tickets to the Eras tour. Originally, the tickets went on sale at the end of June. I can't remember exactly what they initially launched with, but they had like two Melbourne shows, I think three Sydney shows possibly something like that and no brisbane shows heartbreakingly there were two pre-sales i'm pretty sure and then there was the general sale on like the friday but they had started selling the tickets on the monday you know my friend beck and i were both like yep we're totally gonna get tickets together this is gonna be so much fun i don't know what it was like in the u.s i assume it's a similar situation or wherever you are in the world with your era's tour situation but the process of trying to get tickets was oh, I think I'm gonna have PTSD from that one like loading page from Ticketek. I think I've lost quite a few days, if not weeks of my life to this endeavor. <laughs> Taylor Swift is my favorite singer by far. I love her to death. I've seen her live when I was like nine years old. I feel like this is a once in a lifetime thing. We're never gonna have an Eras tour again, you know? Probably not. And she's probably not coming back to Australia for a very long time. So I'm pretty sure the last time she was in Australia was 2018. Beck and I tried so hard. Beck did get in one time and I really regret not getting this, but she got in at like 5 a.m. through the initial sale of the tickets. And I think there was like a hotel package or something, but we weren't sitting together. And I really regret not doing that. Oh, if only we knew. Apart from that one time that Beck got in and we didn't get the tickets, we did not get through the queue once. And I know this is an experience for a lot of people, but so many people that I know and follow were getting tickets and getting through. And it was such a heartbreaking experience. The final sale of the tickets was the day before I ran my half marathon and I posted a photo on my story and I was a mess. I was bawling my eyes out. I was even contemplating not running the half marathon. That's how like worked up I was. And I was so, I was just, oh my gosh, I felt like my soul. I know this sounds Dramatic. If you get it, you get it. You know, I just was devastated. But we did end up running the half marathon, so we hadn't lost hope yet because we were holding out for the resale, which I'm pretty sure was originally scheduled. It was either September or October, something like that. But we were in July at this point. So a couple months go by. I'm pretty sure Ticketek went silent. Ticketek has not been very good in this whole situation altogether. You can't even call them. They literally say, sorry, we're busy. And then they hang up on you. The resale finally rolls around at the end of November. So it's been quite a few months. At this point, I'd kind of like forgotten about it a little bit, but it's always in the back of my mind that I didn't have tickets to this concert. So then and the resale happens and same deal we didn't get tickets i don't think i tried hard enough in the beginning of the resale because i don't think i fully understood how it worked because when the first round of normal tickets went live was i believe a randomized thing like it was it was a lounge it wasn't like a line it wasn't a queue it was just like a random thing which to me doesn't make any sense at all that's not fair i don't know whereas for the resale on ticket tech marketplace which is where People who have tickets can sell their tickets securely to another person. That whole system uses a queue system. So you have to wait in line for your turn. And when it went live in November, there weren't really many tickets available or there were like obstructed view tickets and stuff like that. I, at this point, I still really wanted like a decent ticket. I don't think I was gonna go all the way to Sydney for a ticket that was like an obstructed view ticket. Like I know I love Taylor Swift and everything, but I was like, it's a lot of money to fly to have not a great view that's just me but i mean beggars can't be choosers i guess <laughs> yeah that kind of whole happens and then i kind of forget about it and then i'm pretty sure ticket tech like shut down like it wasn't really working and then i saw a tiktok this chick she posts like ticket tock ticket tock ticket tech update stuff about the era store all the time in australia she was like it's back up and running and i was like oh my gosh great i jump on that was from my morning routine video my 4am morning routine video 
I got through and there are a couple tickets available. The funny thing is, even though the tickets were available, like when you get through, you can't click on them because someone else is checking them out because that's just how many people are like on the website at once. So I spent so many hours just I constantly had it up trying to get tickets, but then Ticket Tech boots you off after about 10 minutes. So I was trying, I was trying, I was trying so hard, put my blood, sweat and tears into this. And I have been getting a few DMs from people like offering their tickets, which is so lovely. I'm sure most of you are very genuine, but there's always the chance that you're going to get scammed because I've been scammed with concert tickets in the past, but not to say that you guys would do that, but you know what I mean? But at this point I was like, I really, <laughs> I was just getting like so desperate at this point. And there was one time that I got through a ticket had popped up. It must have popped up like straight away. I love how I've been talking about this for nine minutes. A ticket popped up and I clicked on it and it took me through to check out. And then I don't know if I like wasn't signed in or something because I think I was on like incognito mode or something and it booted me off. My soul left my body and it was a really good ticket as well. And I was, oh, I was shaking. Felt like I was like hyper focused and I was like, come on. At this point, I had like lost hope. However, I received a DM from a lovely girl and she said that she had a ticket or well, her friend had a ticket literally like the VIP ticket it is smack bang in the middle of the stage not in the middle of the stage you know what I mean and she said she had one ticket because they had managed to both get tickets together so they didn't need this one and I was like oh and I asked for a little bit more information about the ticket and it's funny because if someone asked me if I would recommend purchasing a ticket off a stranger I would say absolutely not however I did it <laughs> and I'm hoping and praying that it works out. I've got, hopefully, a ticket to the Eras tour. <laughs> booked my flights, I've booked my hotel. <laughs> I've got my outfit kind of sorted, hopefully. I'm not worried about whether the fact that it's a genuine ticket and like they're selling it to me, like that I'm literally like, yeah, this is this is legit. They're even sending me the VIP box that it comes with, like, cause it's a VIP ticket. The only thing that I'm worried about is like, if something goes wrong with like getting into the actual concert, I'm like, what if they refuse me because it's like not my ticket or something like that? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure from the research that I've done that it will be fine because it's kind of like the same situation like if your friend bought your tickets for you you know like you use their tickets but yeah there's just that little inkling in my mind that's like what if something goes wrong and you can't go what if something goes wrong and you don't get let in I am a warrior so my plan I'm just not gonna say anything until I'm through those doors <laughs> until I'm sat in my seat and then I'll be like, hey guys, I'm at the Eras tour. I've seen so many of you guys have sent me DMs like giving me recommendations saying like, hey, this person has a ticket. I have a ticket. I look so creepy and I'm so grateful because it's, oh, <laughs> that's so scary because it's been a journey. It's been such a journey. Like even my boyfriend, he's like, I've never seen anything like this before. Just like the craze. Like, have you seen how many shops are selling? They're using the Eras Tour to market themselves. Even Bunnings, Bunnings freaking warehouse are selling friendship bracelets. Like friendship making, fr making friendship bracelet, <laughs> friendship making bracelet kits. <laughs> And like all the different outfits, like Glasson's Beginning Boutique, White Fox. She really has taken over the world. I'm like, heck yeah. So that's my little introduction to this video, my little backstory. So there is a chance this video might not see the light of day because I can't imagine me like saying, hey guys, like I got the ticket, oh my God. And then being like, actually, <laughs> I'm in my get up. I've filmed all my TikToks, my transitions. And then I'm like, actually, I didn't get let in. I just couldn't not give it a go like this. And obviously I've spent a lot of money on this because last minute flights and last minute hotel and a VIP ticket is a lot of money. But she is my favorite, favorite artist of all time. And I love her so much. And I just know I will be heartbroken if I can't go. So this is my doing it for the plot. This is my doing more things this year. I didn't even tell you I'm going. I'm going to the Sydney show on the 25th of February. I'm going by myself. Um, I'm going to meet up with the girls who have sold me the tickets, which is fun. It's funny. I'm really not nervous about going by myself because I just know that I will meet people instantly. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know, Connor's going to the Eras tour. Probably. Let me show you my dress that I ordered because people are really going all out 
for this thing i already have white cowgirl boots part of me is like mm, should i order some like sparkly ones but honestly i've already spent enough money on this thing do i need them no the white ones will be fine <laughs> um okay let me try and find i'm hoping the like tassels won't be too long because i feel like people are going either like sequin or like this like flapper girl vibe can't really see it very well so hopefully that looks good i mean if the tassels are too long i can probably just snip them to be honest so I'll pair that with my, oh, they've got really cute ones. If I don't like it, I'll return it and I'll just um, figure something else out. So yeah. Am I insane? A little bit, a little bit, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, my VIP box has arrived. Oh, it's so nice of them to send this. Like, I know it comes with a ticket, but so nice of um, these girls to send this to me. Honestly, I owe them like a drink or something. Gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here she is. It's not for you. I'm sorry, not for you today. Oh my goodness. It's a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have this now. Taylor Swift, the era's tour. I didn't even realize in Australia, we say era, such and such era, because other people pronounce it era. I've been saying era, but we say era in Australia, the era's tour. That sounds super Aussie. Oh my goodness, okay, here she is. Let me not get it dirty. You get a bunch of like posters. Um, wow, so cool. Oh my goodness. So I believe you get a bunch of different prints in here. I, if I had gotten through and I had the chance, I would have gotten a VIP ticket if I, like, if I had the opportunity. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. I think this is my favorite one. No, this one. Oh my gosh. And I also got my outfit, which I want to show you. However, I sprayed it with this body spray. Okay, I can't put this back in there. I sprayed it with this body spray and it looks so cool. It's like glittery and stuff, but the glitter is everywhere. So I don't want to put it on because I'm going to get glitter everywhere. And I think when I pack my suitcase, I'm going to have to put it in a bag because it's going to get glitter everywhere. Ooh, don't mind my dog just like sucking on. What are you doing? And I believe you get a little tote bag. Oh, oh, it's very small. <laughs> Very cute, VIP. You best believe I'm doing my grocery shopping with this. Absolutely. I'm super excited for the lanyard because, oh! <laughs> I think that's just super excited. What is this? Oh, it's a pin. Nice, it's a little pin. Lovely. And then you get, there's so many of like the same thing, just like photos and stuff. <gasps> you get the commemorative little admin ticket. <laughs> I wonder if they intentionally just left 20, 2023 on there because it started in 2023 or if they genuinely didn't want to be bothered to change it to 2024 for the, the shows that are this year. I don't know. That's so cool. It's like holographic. Oh my god. <laughs> so grateful. Oh my goodness. I can't, I actually, I still can't believe that I'm going. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I still can't believe it. It does not feel real and it will not feel real until I'm through. Oh, I think these are postcards. It won't feel real until I'm through those doors. You get a lot of postcards. Nice. It's a bit random though, like a pin, postcards. Um, the tote bag's cute. This. This is the lanyard. Oh, but I am sad that it doesn't light up because I think I think all the US shows, everyone had a light up lanyard, which is so cool. It's like one of those changes ones, but it's still really cool. Ah. Oh my goodness. I don't know whether to wear this to the show. I probably will. Oh, oh it's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I probably will, I have to. I might even like clip my phone onto this so then I've got it, maybe, we'll see. And I believe that is everything that comes in this box. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ah, that's so cool. Surely this means the universe is manifesting. I've got the box, <sighs> got the ticket, like the countdown, it's, it's less than a month away now. So surely, surely it's all gonna work out. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs>
wait, let me go show you. I'll show you the dress. I got it from Shopo. I'm pretty glad that I've got it sorted and I haven't like had to faff around with it too much. Actually, let me turn that off. It looks like this. <laughs> this is what she looks like. I just thought I would put the flashlight on it so you can see all of the sparkles and it's like a tassel dress it's so much fun it's very much like fearless vibes but hot pink and i'm gonna pair it with my white cowgirl boots but the glitter is all over the floor uh it's everywhere we're just gonna have to leave her there i should have just waited until i got to sydney and like right before and sprayed myself we're just gonna have glitter everywhere now oh i hope i wasn't shaking the table when i was filming that unboxing hopefully not Hello friends, it's actually post Taylor as I'm filming this. Excuse my appearance, I feel like shit. I feel hungover. It's not even the day after, it's the following day and I still feel hungover. I'm like, whoa. But I'm coming to you with a little commercial break because this video is sponsored by our friends at Naked Harvest. If you watch my vlogs, you'll see me most of the time. I have my greens first thing every single morning. I love the Naked Harvest greens. They are so delicious. I've tried other greens and they just, they either taste like absolute crap or they have a really strong like artificial sweet taste and it just feels wrong before i left i got this package but i didn't have time to show you guys they have come out with strawberry flavored greens my favorite flavor currently so we've got the pineapple banana lolly mango magic and then this is called strawberry burst i love the new packaging too by the way this is way easier than the other one and i feel like with greens you have to do a fruity flavor because it's greens chocolate flavored greens just sounds wrong in my brain so strawberry is just like perfect my code with the naked harvest is con 15 that gets you 15 percent off the website and i've waited to try this with you so you can get my reaction on camera they're very finely milled too sounds like i'm describing makeup okay and the key with greens is you need to have cold water if you find yourself not really liking greens but you kind of want to get into the routine of it have it cold it tastes weird if it's like warm water or if it's just like a little bit cold like no it needs to be cold my freaking thing is also broken <laughs> i was about to say get yourself an electric whisk it helps but mine's broken so adding in some ice that sound ASMR. Give her a roll. Taste test. Mmm. It tastes faintly of the sweet strawberry pre-workout. It tastes sweet, but it's like a fruity sweet and not like an artificial, like, ooh type of sweet. Mmm. 10 out of 10. I rate that. That's probably my second favorite flavor. Mango Magic is still at the top tier, but that is a close second. I love having these first thing because it really helps to kickstart my digestion. I still forget that I went to the launch of the greens powder in Byron Bay in 2021 because it was right before I moved into this house. Crazy. I'm just on the website now, like reading some of the ingredients. It's packed full of spinach, wheatgrass, broccoli, kale, alfalfa, and celery. And Naked Harvest is also vegan and cruelty free as well. And they're gluten free, which is fab. But yeah, like I said, if you're not a fan of greens, make sure you're having them cold. Trust me, it makes a difference. Thank you as always to Naked Harvest for sponsoring today's vlog. And let's go back in time to before the concert. Hello, good afternoon. We have jumped forward quite a few weeks. I'm in Sydney. It is the day before the concert. Just arrived at my hotel room. Pretty, pretty smooth travels all in all. I didn't expect my room to be ready, but it was. So I've just like dropped off my bags real quick and I'm gonna go to the stadium now. It's like, it's like two something. So I'm gonna head to the stadium and try and get some merch. I'm like literally gonna go now. And then I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm quite hungry. Try our luck with some merch. Pretty much on the plane, I just read House of Flame and Shadow the whole time. So I got through a big chunk of that. It's pretty gloomy today. They ended up like starting the um, concert a lot later yesterday because they had storms, thunder strikes. The weather forecast for tomorrow is sunny. So fingers crossed. Oh, I thought my, <laughs> I thought I like lost another nail then. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Um, so yeah, let's go. Cool. Good morning. Oh my God, I don't know why I thought there was a person behind me then. 
<sighs> it's Taylor Day. Today's the day. How long? Six months? June? Seven months. Yeah. Literally about seven months. Going through of trying to get tickets and I never got them <laughs> the normal way. I ended up getting Uber Eats last night and then I got Uber Eats again but to get popcorn from the supermarket and a big old bottle of water. This is one of the merch shirts that I got. It's like the cream one with a bunch of photos on it and it has dates on the back. And then I'll show you the other one. It is like seven, quarter to eight right now. I just FaceTimed my boyfriend, but I had some greens powder and I literally brought my own mug. Hotel rooms never have big enough mugs, in my opinion. Like, this is a really good example. That's, that's not... That's not what I want. So the lighting over here is really bad, but I'm sorry because we are making... Oh my god, that lighting is 10 out of 10. The dress in the background. <laughs> I was, wasn't actually sure that they had a kettle, but they do. Thank god. This place has a little balcony. I don't want to be too loud. I'm staying in a place that's like, it's called Burwood. It's like 10 minutes. 10 minutes from the stadium or like 20 minutes I think with the train and stuff and like traffic when I was getting an uber it's as close as I could get they've literally got a cutout of Taylor Swift in the lobby so there's a few Swifties staying here this is my view but it's like cold cold I haven't felt this temperature in the longest time and I'm just like taking it in I think it's like 16 degrees at the moment and it's blue skies so far it was so gloomy yesterday I think I've got greens on my face should have said no but can you hear there's magic in the air um it's 17 degrees <gasps> what? On, th on on thursday here is that like no I've never seen that before according to my location on the the weather app on Thursday, it's going to be a top of 44 degrees Celsius. What? That's absurd. I've never seen that before. Not me fucking talking about the weather again, but Queensland, like, at least in, like, Brisbane and stuff, it's so freaking hot and humid, but we don't ever hit, like, 40s. We'll get to the high 30s, but we don't hit 40s, whereas... I'm pretty sure like here and like Melbourne and like Perth and stuff, the heat's much more dry, but the temperature will go higher. 44 degrees? Oh my God. Everyone stay inside on Thursday. Jesus Christ. What was I saying? Oh, the surprise songs last night. I think it was like, should have said no. And a mashup of something else. You're not sorry? Yeah. They got New Year's Day. Oh. And Peace. I love those songs. I love the song Peace. I feel like it's so underrated. What do you mean? What do you mean? I cannot believe that it's going to be 44 degrees here. That's insane. What's... Hey Siri, what is 44 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Okay. Hey Siri, what is 44 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? It's 111 degrees Fahrenheit. There's one thing about me, I need to have like my, like my coffee, my greens and stuff. Otherwise, my digestion says no. Brought my protein powder in the bag. I'll be cleaning up bottles with you on New Year's. Oh, I'm so glad I have a kettle. Yay. This sounds so dumb, but I'm like, I need to pick what TikTok transitions that I want to do. <laughs> That's important. Let me just open up the blinds a little bit. I need to take a shower. <laughs> do I? I swear my attention span just goes from one thing to the um, So the girls that I got the tickets off, Leah and Mary, they're actually staying fairly close by to me, but they arrived in the afternoon yesterday and for everyone who bought a ticket off of marketplace so the tickets that they have given me or the ticket is from marketplace so it's like a marketplace ticket to another person like so it's like almost like a third this is like a third time sale i guess like by the time it's gotten to me 
for everyone that had a marketplace ticket you have to kind of get it verified like the barcodes I'm pretty sure say error I didn't know any of this because I didn't have the ticket essentially you just have to go to the ticket tech box office at the stadium or maybe you can call I'm not actually sure because again not doing it but they went to the stadium yesterday and you pretty much just get it verified with your ID and everything which I don't understand then if like other people sell market taste oh my god other people sell marketplace tickets and they haven't got it verified and they've sold it to someone else it's not gonna work I don't know but everything's all good because I've got the ticket she shared it to me it was all good and I added it to my apple wallet I have the ticket it is there we are in section c4 which is like in the middle at the front i can't believe it's today <laughs> why do i have 11 emails my pet hate is like email notifications so the ticket is in my possession we should be gucci if anything goes wrong i've seen so many tiktoks of people like thinking that they had an era store ticket and it was fake and i was like oh my god it's gonna be fine i've literally got the ticket like she got it very like it's gonna work it's, it's fine so yeah, that's the update. I don't know what I'm going to do for today. <laughs> like, literally, I'm probably going to start getting ready so early. Like, so early. I've, I see people make their transition TikToks and they'll post them way before. And I'm like, why are they getting ready so early? But it's like, no. I need to wash my hair, dry it, do my makeup. I don't even... I did a practice round of what I thought that I wanted. But I've decided I'm not going to do it. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do. I need to like put stuff in my hair, do the glitter everywhere, do my transition TikToks. It's going to be like a task and a half. So I'll probably start getting ready at like 12 o'clock, honestly. Which getting ready, it's not going to be better than the, the concert, obviously. But getting ready is so much fun. I'm, I'm excited. So until then... I can kind of like relax. I might go try and like walk and find a cafe or something. Probably like read my book. Oh, let me show you the jumper that I got too. Um, when I went, the merch lines actually weren't that bad. I think I waited about maybe like half an hour, which might sound a long time, but yeah, honestly, I the merch lines weren't even that bad. I'm so glad I did it on that day because I was like, oh, I could just go in the morning today, but they're not even open in the morning. So yeah, I got this one. It's like a crew neck. It just says Taylor Swift and has dates on the back. Super cute. And then yeah, I like the shirt. I was like, I have to get some merch, you know, I have to. I really need to blow my nose. I feel like I'm very congested. I've probably got sleep in my eyes this whole time. I definitely do. My entire For You page is just ears tool content. That's all it is. I should actually like look on TikTok and figure out some like, um, hmm. We'll see. Okay, I'm about to head out to get some food. I'm like not hungry at all, but I know it's just because I'm like nervous and anticipating tonight. So I definitely need to eat something, but I'm like, yeah, like I feel like I'm just not hungry at all. I've had some popcorn, um, but it's like 10.30 now, I think. I just spent a little bit of time trying to get transitions, like the one where you throw the shoe. Transitions take so much longer than you think. So I've done like two beginning ones and then I might do some more maybe but yeah I'm gonna go get something to eat get another coffee probably and then yeah probably come back and like wash my hair maybe do some more transitions and then like start getting ready Loki because you always think that you have so much time and then you run out so because I want to get like photos and stuff obviously but this is the fit I've got the jumper jeans and my ufus <laughs> I hope my feet don't end up on a weird internet site. So let's go. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. I've washed and blow dried my hair and I'm going to do my makeup now and then curl my hair after it so the curls kind of stay in. I do like it blown out like this, but I know that it's gonna fall, even though I'm probably gonna put it up in a clip because I'm gonna get hot. In my mind, I'm like, oh my God, you've got so much time to get ready. Like you don't need to be getting ready yet. This is the trap. I do, I do need to keep going. <laughs> in my mind, I've got so much time, but you don't, Connor. You don't have so much time. Just keep on keeping on. So we're gonna do makeup. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be very simple and then I might add some like jewels on my face. We'll see. Cause my dress is pink. 
I mean, maybe I could do my hair like a half up, half down moment. My hair is like quite frizzy and it always like looks funny when I do that. Let's start the process. Shall we, shall we? Oh, I've got a headache, but I know it's just from like the anticipation. I've had a lot of water today and I've had some electrolytes. I'm gonna like strategically drink water when it gets closer because I don't wanna pee during anyone's set. I really don't. And if I could avoid like going to the toilets in the stadium, I think I will because the lions that I've seen here we go, the big boys. I did bring some lashes, they're like little demi lashes and this is the palette, this is the mirror that we're working with. Yeah, it'll be all right. And like, I have a big mirror right here, so. Oh, I forgot to say, I bought, at the airport, I bought a new hourglass bronzer. Look how pretty she is. Ready, look at the difference. I think I got the same color, yeah. Oh my goodness. These are $94, which is so expensive for a bronzer. However, it is so good. And I I do go through the entire thing and I think it's incredible. So what do they put in it that makes it so expensive? I was gonna do a TikTok get ready with me, but I feel like it might be a little bit too chaotic. Oh my gosh, my face feels really hot because I'm stressed. Stressed for no reason. It was such an interesting feeling having breakfast by myself because I often go to cafes all the time by myself to work, but I feel like I've never actually gone and had breakfast by myself. Um, that's so much Connor. And it was very interesting. So I was just kind of sitting there. I was like, damn, I should have brought my Kindle. It is quite empowering. It's like a weird mixture of feeling empowered, but also feeling like lonely at the same time. I'm going to stop talking because otherwise we're going to be here for 3000 years. I just had a heart attack so I thought that my microphone was not on, but it is. I have this glitter, but I don't know where the frick I'm going to put it. We'll see. Everything is right. Imagine stars lighting up the night and a shooting star so vibrant. You have to make a wish. Nothing's ever in your way Scoring every shot you make No, you've never heard of pain Because you're just high on life Every day is Saturday Life is sweet as birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? Hey guys, this is the final look. Oh my gosh, I need to leave soon. I really like it. I did end up actually buying like dance tights. Wait, is my microphone on? Like stockings, I guess, because I was worried that I'm gonna get chafing, but I think I'm just gonna not wear them because I don't know, I feel like I get really hot. I sprayed myself with glitter spray. Oh, got my bracelets on. I feel like these gems are not gonna stay on because I feel like I didn't stick them on well enough. Got my little heart sunnies. I don't know if I told you, but I cut the dress. Um, so I felt like it was way too long on me. What a process. <laughs> it has not, it doesn't feel real. Oh my gosh, it does not feel real. But I'm gonna go get the train soon. It's pretty hot right now. So hopefully the sun goes down soon. But yeah, I'm, oh, I just feel so anxious. Like, I don't know, it's the anticipation. And I think because I've just been by myself all day. So it's like lots of nervous energy is building up. Okay. I'm going to the ear store. Ah.
song and you feel the need to scream it at the This is the aftermath. My ears are ringing. Um, it's it's like 12.30. Oh my God, look at my face. <gasps> oh, let's just see how the makeup, mm, she's, she's oily. We're looking oily. I was trying to get a train. I couldn't end up getting back, like catching up with the girls because it was madness, holy shit. I was trying to get onto the train platform, but it was, was not happening. I was like, screw this. I'm gonna try and get an Uber. And then I walked and walked and walked and this is a long story. We managed to get an Uber. <sighs> oh my goodness. 
I can't believe, I feel like I just blacked out for that whole thing. I was so close to the stage when she did the surprise songs, she was literally right there. And I feel, sometimes I feel bad for like filming on my phone, but I, like I do want to have the memories. Oh my goodness. The thing that I didn't expect to be was I was so thirsty and I had to leave between kind of like eras to run to like the water station to get water. I'm pretty sure she started like a couple of them and I'm like running back to my seat like, Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower. Do I have water in this hotel room? Oh, this is the water that I have. Damn it, I should have got some. And I'm gonna go to bed. <sighs> but yeah, wow, crazy. Can't believe I went to the ears tour. <sighs> my feet are so sore. That was not good for my plantar fasciitis. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> it is post Taylor um because it's such an experience you almost black out and then you're like oh no it's over and then you'd be like okay I want to go again oh my goodness like I can't believe it I, I cannot believe it oh my well I can't believe I was so close to her when she was doing the surprise songs like when she set up the piano I was like oh like she was right there. Oh my goodness. Like, like imagine being front, like I know I was freaking close. I'm like, imagine like the front row, like that is just, how do you do that? Huh. It's just so cool. Like knowing that I'm here because of like the friends that I have on the internet, the girls that I went with, Mary, Gemma and Leah, they were the ones who got me my ticket. Mary was the one who reached out to me on DM. I was like, hey, <laughs> they were so lovely. It was really, really nice to have kind of some friends there at the concert because it would have felt a little bit lonely otherwise. Like I know there's Swifties everywhere, but obviously everyone's like kind of there with their friends and like there's some solo people. And oh my gosh, thank you for everyone who came up and said hi. As soon as I was through the gate, I was like, post my story. And everyone was like, oh my gosh. Cause I think you guys just know how hard I worked to, let me keep an eye on the time. So I have an Uber booked. Um, and I need it. Do I want to have food? You guys just knew like the struggle that I went through trying to get tickets and my heart goes out for anyone who missed tickets. I completely understand your pain. I'm so lucky that I just happened to see the right DM from the right type of person who wasn't trying to scam me. Ended up going to the concert as well and like meeting them. Like everything does happen for a reason. So yeah, thank you so much to those girls because that was just, you made my year. You truly did. I'm so sad though because we kind of got split up at the end because the, like you would have seen like last night, the crowd getting home was insane. They got, they managed to get on a train and I was like stuck in the crowd. And then I was like, nah, getting my Uber, got my Uber. And then, yeah, I feel like I sound sick, but I'm pretty sure it's just because my voice is like gone. But I almost feel like hungover in a way. <laughs> I don't understand how Taylor does that. Like how? It's, it's such a long show. The only thing I regret is I wish I had a water bottle with me and I filled it up at the water stations because I was thirsty. I was worrying about like needing to pee. I didn't need to pee at all, but I was so thirsty. Like I didn't do my hydration very well, even though I had electrolytes and stuff, but I think well. All in my head, I'm just like, there's glitter on the floor after the party. Oh my God, and when she did, I said, because people were saying that Bon Iver or Bon Iver, I don't know how to say it, is in Sydney right now. And they were like, oh my God, imagine if they bring him out for an ever ev Evermore and like Exile mass up. Can't speak mashup. She freaking sang Exile. Oh my god! I wasn't filming, but I literally, as soon as she switched and was like, um, I think I've seen. I was like, Ooh! everyone like shut their pants. It's so. Oh, the surprise songs were so cool. Haunted and um, is it over now? Oh, well. yeah. So there's glitter on the floor after the party. Girls carrying the shoes down in the lobby. Oh my goodness. I hope she does this again. I really do. Or like, I hope like other artists start doing this, like Justin Bieber or something. That's such a good idea. Do an era store. I would proper Justin Bieber era store as well. Oh, see, now I can put all my stuff in my checked bag because if it happens to not arrive in time, it doesn't matter because I don't need everything. Okay. I will see you when I see you. Okay, we are back home now, back to reality. I don't know how to move on with my life now. What am I gonna hyperfixate on? 
I am a little concerned that I'm getting sick because I feel just very, very run down. My eyes feel like swollen and I'm just like, oh no. I've had two servings of greens today. I need to get in some vitamin C and just take it easy because yeah, I really would love to not get sick, but it's worth it for the experience of the ears tour. I just wanted to end off this video. It is a long one. I know it's probably not for everyone because not everyone loves Taylor Swift. I just wanted to finish off by saying again, a big thank you to Gemma, Leah, and Mary, specifically Mary, for reaching out and giving me the opportunity to purchase the tickets. I am eternally grateful. And I also do want to say I'm so sorry for everyone who did miss out because I know there were so many people who couldn't get tickets and I feel so lucky that I was able to get a ticket but I'm so sorry if you really really were trying to go and you just could not get through. I really think Ticket Tech did not not do a great job at all of handling the situations that were happening and the scalpers and just there's so many empty seats as well which is so sad because you know there's just so many people who want the opportunity to go. So now it's time to get back into normal life and normal routine. I feel like I can kind of focus a little bit more on like my running and stuff because I feel like I was just very distracted the like that kind of the few weeks like leading up to the the tour and stuff like too <laughs> the tour and stuff. So but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this off because I would love to get this video up. Maybe today? We'll see. But as always I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next one. Bye you're just high on life Every day is Saturday Life is sweet as birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way?